extraordinary. Good morning, everyone. It is a miserable, miserable, gloomy and rainy day. I mean, it says that the rain is going to stop in like 10 minutes. Let's just hope so. But it is going to be gloomy for the remaining of the day. I am very much of fresh face because I am heading to uh, my facial appointment with Naked MD, which is the place that I went and got my um, Botox done three weeks ago. And um, yeah, now I'm going for them to just make sure my Botox is doing all right. And also, um, sorry, the camera is gonna keep moving. Um, and also they um, kindly offered to do a um, facial. I have no idea what kind of facial I am getting. So we're gonna go there and figure it out. She was like, what kind of facial would you want? I was like, to be honest with you, I don't get facials usually because I have very sensitive skin. Um, so let's just do a consultation and see what my skin basically needs. And they said, all right, we can do it on that day. Also, I'm struggling with my skin right now. So this um, facial appointment is right on time. I have a lot of breakouts, which usually I don't. It is that time of the month, so that could be it. But I normally don't get hormonal acne, so I'm a little bit confused on what's going on. Um, one thing I think is affecting my skin is... Um, I started eating those flip yogurts. I absolutely love them, but they're really, really sweet. So there is, they're really high in sugar. And I try to control my sugar intake as much as I can. Um, so yeah, I think those yogurts are too sweet and my face is reacting to it because yesterday, not the day before, I had two in one day. And that's a lot of sugar. Um, so yeah, that could be it, but I'm very happy that my skin will have a little bit of a refresh. Um, I did a Zara try on haul yesterday. I went to Zara and I chose Violence. Um, I just woke up, I've been getting a lot of, let's rewind. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to do a Zara haul. And then um, we all know Zara sizing is the of joy. I don't like to go into Zara, I don't like to shop at Zara, I like their pieces, I like their designs, but at the same time, I do not like the way that Zara items make me feel, to be honest with you guys. Great, there is an accident being reported, which will make me late by 14 minutes. It is what it is, I can't stress about it. <laughs> I, like I can't do anything besides just driving and trying my best to get there on time uh, Safety first obviously, but anyway back to what I was saying. So yeah, I don't like to go to Zara But I was like, I'm just gonna take one for the team and go to Zara and see what they have in for spring and summer So I'm gonna cut to the Zara try on haul for you guys now um, and I'll try to link all the items that I can find um, because I already looked a couple of the items I was not able to find online. I'm not sure if they're sold out online or they're not yet on the website. I'm not very familiar with Zara's stock and how they do things and I don't think anytime soon I'm going back there. Uh, because not only the sizing is an issue mentally for me, it's also the pricing of it. Like. A bomber jacket for like $180? Why? Like why? I mean, I didn't buy that one. I bought another one, uh, which you guys will see in a try-on haul. But just overall, the pricing is insane. After visiting the um, Barcelona Zara and seeing the prices there, I honestly refuse to pay that much, even if the item fits me, you know? Some prices are insanely high for the item that they are. So, just personal opinion. You do you. If it makes you happy, if it sparks joy for you, you do you. Um, but yeah, let's just go into the Zara try-on haul and then we'll be back to the current timeline. I was very, very actually excited about this set. So it is this jacket, which is white and navy, a tank top and the shorts. 
So the shorts are really, really short and obviously it is tight. It's an extra large and it only goes up to extra large. Um, so unfortunately it would be a pass, but I really like the jacket and the tank top. I mean, the tank top, I have something very similar to it. I just grabbed it so I can try it on um, with this outfit. But at the jacket, I think I'm gonna order a bigger size. This is a small and that's the only one they have in store. So I think I'm gonna order probably like a medium or a large, even though this fits me, but I feel like it doesn't sit nicely here. So the jacket I really like, but unfortunately the pants will not be a pass because they're just too short and obviously they're very small i had really high hope for these jeans but zara jeans usually never just sit right they just have a very weird um what do you call it cut to them so the jeans will be a pass and these are a size i think 44 yeah 44 so the jeans are a pass but this top i kind of like it it's navy and white um, I think this is a size large if I'm not mistaken. I love stripes, you guys already know that. So I think I'm gonna get this. It's such a soft material. So yeah, the top I absolutely love. I think it's in a size large. I like the sleeve. I like that it's navy and white. And also I like that the stripes are not too close to each other. I know very little detail to pay attention to, but it's still in the little things. So I think I'm gonna take the top. Oh my god, I absolutely love this jacket. It's so cute. I love this denim, like bomber jacket style coat and I've been looking for one in this color. I don't want it to be white. I want it to be like a milky cream color. And this is just perfection. This is in a size, if I am not mistaken, large. And this is coming home with me. I really, really like this. This had potential. I like the texture of it, but it's a no. I just... I don't know, it's a little bit too long and I don't like how it fits, so this will be a pass. I really really like this top, but this area of it is like too empty. This is size 2XL and it barely fits me. I tried on the size extra large, it doesn't fit me. And the double XL fits me on the hip area, but not this top area. Like, do you see how empty this is? So, as much as I like it, unfortunately it's gonna be a no because I know I have to pay a lot to get this altered to be like this basically so unfortunately this will be a pass this dress is super cute and it has like open back so very very cute but even the extra large even the 2xl didn't fit me so yeah i'm a little bit heartbroken because it's such a cute dress but the fabric has zero stretch to it so unfortunately it did not fit me a little bit too short for my liking and um, the hip area is a little bit tight. Um, this is a size extra large. I'm gonna see online if they have the double XL because I think it goes all, all the way to double XL. And I'll order the double XL online because I really like the design of it and I love the color of it. It's such a beautiful spring color. Um, but yeah, this one is unfortunately a little bit tight. Um, it's the fabric underneath that is tight. Like this section is the section that is a little bit tight on me. And of course it is a little bit too short. As much as I like this, this will be unfortunately a pass because it just doesn't sit right. This romper was super cute as well. I love the color and the fabric, but unfortunately it was too small. And this is in a size large. Maybe I'll try to order the size extra large online and see how it will fit because it's so cute and I feel like it could be a both casual and dressy kind of a vibe. Um, the fabric of it is really, really nice. It's soft but structured. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately it was too small. I was so excited about this, but it is very, very tight and this is size extra large. Um, it just doesn't even sit right for me to show you the whole thing. Like this section is too tight. I'm gonna insert the picture of the model wearing it if it's available online. It is such a beautiful dress, but Zara sizing, Zara sizing. I cannot believe this is their extra large. As I mentioned, only few of the items fit me. I don't know if you guys paid attention to the video, like on the side, there are so many more clothes, um, but unfortunately I was not able to even try them on and I didn't even show you guys all of them that didn't fit me. Um, it was a little bit of a nerve wracking experience. <laughs> so yeah, that was the Zara um, try on haul. Um, another reason that I absolutely love H&M is because they actually run true to size. I usually wear size medium or large at H&M, um, most of the times, 95% of the times. Um, 
but then at Zara even the double XL sometimes doesn't fit me and I understand those are just labels as long as you feel good in your body um, that's all that matters but why wouldn't they make a double XL and a true double XL you know what I mean they would have more people um, that shop from them I just don't understand Zara's theory they're very stubborn with their ways of doing things um, I'm sure so many more people would want to shop from them because they have cute style they have trendy items and all of that so why not make it accessible to more people it's just I would never understand but yeah that was the Zara haul again I'll try to link everything for you guys in the description box below now I am going to focus on my driving because it is raining and all of that and we don't want to risk anything um, I'm actually listening to a podcast this is I'm very new to this podcast it's called Demel Robbins podcast and I truly enjoy her truly truly enjoy her the episode that I'm listening to is um, I'm not sure I can't see the title of it but it's basically unlock a happier life and overall I really like her vision on life on relationships on work on balancing your life and work and then on boundaries so i'm just gonna listen to her and continue driving to get to my appointment i really hope i'm not gonna be too late from the look of it i'm gonna be only 10 minutes late but i'm hoping when it is not insanely rainy i can make up this traffic hopefully just finished up my facial appointment and it might not look it I mean it might or it might not but my feel my skin feels absolutely amazing the lady who did my facial she was so informed on rosacea and you guys know how sensitive my skin is to the touch it goes red there's no redness literally there's no redness she didn't do any extractions obviously because these are like rosacea breakout and rosacea breakouts you don't extract them but she was really, really good. We did the red light therapy. She did a hydrating sheet mask. And I think the hydrating sheet mask was the magic for my skin because it just calmed my skin. She also did an exfoliator, which was very, very, very mild. She said it's a salt exfoliator, which I don't think I've ever used a salt exfoliator. I used sugar for my lips. And like, obviously it's been a long time that I don't need to use any exfoliator for my face. And I use the Dermalogica one if I use it once a year <laughs> so um yeah she did salt exfoliator so um, basically just very gently exfoliated my skin then hydration then then red light therapy she said she's putting the light on the collagen and rejuvenation setting and i feel like it did it's magic um i also got two extra units of botox here so um the whole reason that i came um, back was for them to check up on my botox to make sure everything is good um so they kindly offered they're like you're all the way coming here so we're gonna do a facial as well um so yeah when i was uh, like basically when i'm raising my brow she said you have a little bit of movement here so they added two more units which was very very nice of them i love the fact that they pay attention to detail and like they're like come back let us check and make sure everything is fine because i have been to other places and they don't do that and if they do do that like they're like oh come back let us check they charge you for it um obviously you guys know that this was complimentary but the person who won the giveaway um will experience the same thing that i am experiencing pretty much but just overall i really really like this uh, med spa i am in the chino hill location they also have one in Newport beach in case you're looking for a place to get your botox and your facial done but yeah i'm feeling absolutely glorious um i'm gonna go head back home right now i have a very very busy day of like admin things we all know how much this weather affects me so i rather just be pretty busy for me uh, for my brain to not to have time to think about this miserable weather um, but i cannot tell you guys how happy i am with my facial it feels brighter and just a little bit more clean refreshed 
okay so yeah let's head home morning everyone it has been a few days ever since i saw you guys last i think the last time i saw you guys was when i was coming back from my facial appointment if i'm not mistaken by the way our gardeners are here but today's going to be a very busy day so i can't wait for them to go i have to keep on just like recording and getting on with my things because it's going to be an insanely busy day but anyway, um, yeah, I saw you guys last when I was coming back from my uh, facial appointment. And to be honest with you guys, it has been a very busy like few days. I feel like I've been dragging this vlog for so many days. I'm just a little bit busy behind the scenes, family things, things that I can't record, like events and stuff um, that I cannot pick up my camera, um, work things that I can't pick up my camera. So all is good, but it's just there are things happening that i can't record basically so that's why um this video is throughout so many days i have a little bit of breakout so i went with a little bit of a heavier hand um on my makeup and a little bit of a higher coverage foundation um i also applied a new layer of tan so i feel like my face on my body is not matching because my tan is um developing and this is a tan that i have never used before this is my sister's but i needed something that's gonna work with one hour because i have as i mentioned i have a lot that i need to get done today this is the tanologist one tanologist and this is a one hour express one it it has been about 45 minutes that I have it on but I just thought I'll talk to you guys um, and then I have a few items that I want to show you I'll show you guys those so it gets like an hour hour and a half to two hour kind of a wear so it can get um, to the darkest it can get um, so far it is like good it's not patchy or anything this is the extra dark one it says yeah extra dark I have a lot of things going on this weekend so I'm really hoping that this tan is going to work nicely I don't care if it's not too dark as long as it is not patchy we're all good I have a dinner tonight and then tomorrow is Monta's birthday which is going to be a daytime event so my tan needs to look acceptable because probably i'm gonna wear like a denim skirt or like a denim shorts kind of a vibe um so i need to have a flawless tan basically uh, let's get into the express and h&m package until this tan develops just a little bit more then i'm gonna shower and we will see how the tan turns out let's get into the express package first um, I just realized that my express package is not complete actually. They sent only like three of the items. <laughs> Probably is coming in another shipment. And um, two of the items are repetitive. Basically like two different sizes. Um, that's a bummer because I wanted to wear one of the items tomorrow. And there was a colorful top that I wanted to wear for tomorrow. But maybe today... So the first item is this like um, sweetheart neck um, boucle fabric um, strapless top. I absolutely love the fabric of it. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like shimmery. And I got it in two sizes because I was not sure. I got it in medium and large because my upper body is smaller compared to my lower body. Um, and this crop top was not like too cropped. That's what I liked about it. And it has the zipper in the back. Um, we'll try it out and see which one will fit me from the look of it. The medium will be small because the fabric doesn't have any stretch to it. Um, let me open up the large and hopefully the large will fit me nicely. This actually is a three-piece set. Yeah, probably the large will fit me better. Um, this is actually the three-piece set. Um, this is the top and I also got the shorts and it has a blazer too. But I don't think they've launched the blazer yet. I think this week or next week they will launch the blazer. Um, so basically, oh my god, this is very, very short. I didn't realize it. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't matter even if they come out with the blazer because this is not going to be a three-piece set for me because the shorts are really really short i have a bone to pick with this brand why is a size 14 16 18 20 this short like i understand some people will wear it but i promise you a majority of the people would want a little bit of a longer 
kind of a short like more of a bermuda kind of a vibe so the tan doesn't look as dark as i thought it would be i mean maybe it will develop color but for the time being it is not as dark which to be honest with you guys i have no problem with that because it is such a smooth tan am i going to not be a saint tropez girly anymore because this tan is really really smooth and nice so yeah that's the tan update it is not as dark as i thought it would be but it is very smooth and it does have a beautiful golden undertone um so that is the tan and now to this express set unfortunately it would be a return because the shorts are really really short and i would never feel comfortable wearing this shorts i love the fabric this is literally breaking my heart because i love the um fabric love the color love the design of it but the shorts are too short um i wish they were just a little bit longer like a bermuda style and the top this is the large and it is big on this areas but the medium doesn't fit me at all so the top doesn't have the best fit um considering that both of these pieces are pretty expensive i expected a little bit more from um express unfortunately this set will be a return because the top doesn't sit right and the shorts are too short for my liking but i am obsessed with the fabric of it it's such a beautiful fabric i have two packages from um h&m one of them is home the other one is clothing i'm gonna get into the clothing one first the home is not mine besides one item so i'll just take you take it take out the one item and i'll show it to you guys the rest is my sister's we have this cargo pants that i bought it in size extra large for some reason i think i bought it in two sizes because h&m pants and like jeans and stuff are a very weird sizing some of them fit me really nicely and some of them they don't like sometimes i'm a size 18 sometimes i'm a size 12 so i'm a little bit confused with them so i got it in a size extra large and large if i'm not mistaken just cargo pants are very much in and i really like the color of it i'm not a cargo pants girl it's like i think cargo pants are a really cool girl kind of a vibe but i just thought i'll give it a try until i don't try it i wouldn't know if it um looks nice on me or not so i just thought i'll give it a try so i picked it up in a size extra large and i believe i picked it up in a size large as well yeah here it is and it is in a size large so i'll try them on and see which one fits me better here is the size large of these pants and i don't think i'm cool enough to wear this um one because it makes my hips look a lot larger than i am it's like very very baggy and if i size down in it um probably the uh, hips won't fit me nicely it is a very lightweight material and surprisingly even though it is a very light color it is not see-through which obviously is a plus um but i just don't think i'm cool enough to pull this off and make it look chic um, and also, yeah, the fact that it makes me look a lot wider than I am is not a vibe that I want to go with. Um, so yeah, this pants unfortunately will be a return. Next up, it is this top that is like not a corset style. I mean, it has like the bust area of it like a corset style but then it has like this crisscross and it has like an elastic back um and the reason i got this is to be honest with you guys i'm not crazy about this crisscross but the reason that i like it is because it was long sleeve the temperature seems like it doesn't want to come up it is very very still cold and i'm going to be traveling somewhere that their spring is a little bit colder than LA um, so I needed something like lightweight but long sleeve um, so I just thought I'll get this and give it a try um, again I'm not crazy about the crisscross in the front but I wouldn't know if I like it or not until I don't try it I picked this up in a size large as well surprisingly I really like this top but I feel like it is a small on me like the cup area I feel like it is a little bit small on me um so probably I would need to size up in it because yeah it is a little bit uncomfortable but i really really like it um the only problem is that again i feel like the cup section is um a bit small and the other thing is i don't know what to do with the strings i don't like them hanging like this i'll just like tuck them like this i like the crisscross vibe of it but i don't like the strings they're too long or i can just wrap them around my waist and close it in the back i can do that as well um, so that's a better idea for sure than just tucking it in and making a bulky kind of a situation here um, But yeah, the top I think I need to size up in it though because I feel like the cups are a little bit small 
um, for me, but it's a very cute top. Surprisingly, I'm into it. I fell in love with the color of these pants and I'm really hoping they're gonna look nice on me because from the look of it, I don't think it's gonna look flattering on me whatsoever. So this is a linen blend pants in this like olive green color. Picked it up in a size 14. Did I pick up another size as well? No, just 14. Um, I just thought with white it would look cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? Like with cream, white, uh, black. I just love H&M pants, if you're being honest. Doesn't matter what color it is. The ones that have like the elastic in the back, the loop, and they're a little bit of a relaxed fit, I really like. Um, and I don't have any pants this color. I have beige, I have cream, white, black, but I don't have anything like in this color. So I just thought I'll give it a try and see how I like it. I love these pants. Obviously, they need a really good steam, which is going to be difficult because um, linen and steaming is not a vibe. And no matter how many times you steam them, they're still gonna look wrinkly. But I feel like this is one of the nicest fitting fat pants, fans, <laughs> nicest fitting pants that I have from um, H&M. I don't know, I really like it. Love the length of it, love the hip area, the please are not opening, and I feel like it's high-waisted enough. I love everything about it. Um, so the pants will be staying. In my previous vlog, I mentioned that how obsessed I am with H&M um, regular t-shirts, and I got the white one in previous um, video, but they were um, sold out of the striped one, and I just got the striped one as well. These are $5.99, and I get them like usually 20 or 25% off. Um, really, really good t-shirts. I'm very much into stripes, as you guys can tell. Oh, by the way, this is the sweater that I showed you guys, and I told you I'll change the buttons. I haven't had a chance to change the buttons yet, so yeah. Anyway, I'm very much into stripes, and every year I just get a new um, one of these. I know I can invest in like a little bit of a higher end one, but to be honest with you guys, I like the quality of this, and they last me entire season. It's not that uh, you have to change them every year, but I've noticed that, um, especially the white one, not the stripe one. The white one usually changes color; it gets a little bit more like grayer. Um, so yeah, the white one, I change it every year, but you don't have to necessarily change this one. Um, uh, but just the regular t-shirt I absolutely love. Um, this is the black and white one. They have a navy and white one as well. Uh, but they were still sold out, sold out of that one. I believe that one is $9.99 because it is a little bit of a thicker material. Uh, but even $9.99, that's really good price for a staple t-shirt in your wardrobe. There's no way that you can go wrong with these t-shirts. I just absolutely love them. Love the quality, love the feast, love everything about them. They're chic, sophisticated, and you can wear them bajillion different ways. You can wear them with jeans, skirts, tops. Like These t-shirts, I literally live in entire um, spring and summer. So for sure get them in black, white, and this striped one. Um, it will become a staple in your wardrobe. Again, in my previous video, I showed you guys this dress that I fell in love with. It's a black dress with a little bit of like ruching on the side. And the size that I have it in is a size large, but it is a little bit short on me. So I got it in extra large to see if it will be a little bit longer. So I'll be a little bit more comfortable. Um, so let's just hope that this fits me nicely because I really really like this dress and you guys actually really liked it too I shared it on my um, Instagram story so many people loved it and uh, so many people actually bought this and they sent a picture uh, Because um, it's a good dress to have in your wardrobe that you can wear it daytime nighttime and um, Comfortable good quality. So I'm really hoping that the extra large will fit me nicely. I don't like the extra large I feel like the waist area is too big. It is a little bit bit longer um, than the um, large but it's just overall it's too big on top um, so for sure I'm gonna be returning this one and I think I'll just hold on to the uh, large because the extra large I feel like it lost its shape the large was so much better um, yeah fortunately this dress will be a return in this size but I am gonna hold on to the size large because I still have it I was like, I'm just going to hold on to the large until the extra large one arrives and then I'll make a decision. Um, and the extra large looks nothing like the large. Um, this is a very important factor, actually, that um, sizing of the items on your body matters. How they sit on you matters. They can like make or break an outfit. The same dress that I love it in size large, I don't like it in extra large. It just doesn't fit right, in my opinion. It doesn't have the same shape. 
it just looks blah in my personal opinion um so the extra large will be a return but i will keep the size large i feel like this entire haul has been a repetition of everything that i love from h&m so yes i'm a huge fan of h&m ribbed tops and again because i'm traveling somewhere that is going to be a little bit of a colder weather i wanted a long sleeve version i do have this in another pattern i mean pattern like the neckline of it is not exactly like this open i think it's like it's like a more of a square neck um, but this one has a little bit of a more spice why is this why is this dirty it has like like dots on top of it um i picked this up in a size large and usually the size medium fits me but i wanted it to have a little bit of a room and since it's more of a like a crop top i mean yeah, I, I would consider this a crop top. This is not a long top. Um, I just wanted it to be a little bit more of a relaxed fit. The only thing with these tops is that if it's too big, this section doesn't sit nicely. So I'm just going to try this on and I'm really hoping it's going to work out because I really like these tops. They work perfectly with so many colors of pants. Just a good staple to have. And obviously, again, because I'm traveling somewhere that is going to have a little bit of a colder spring, I wanted to have like a lightweight... Um, long sleeve top as i expected the size large of this top is not a vibe it just doesn't sit right and yeah unfortunately this top will be a return because it's just this area doesn't sit right this area is a little bit loose and i am not wearing a push-up bra i'm just wearing a strapless bra for sure i have to wear like a push-up bra with these tops but just overall i don't like how this area of this tops sit when they are big the problem is when they're a size medium they're too short for my liking like height wise but the other problem is that when they're size large their sleeves are not uh, fitting me right uh, but I know for a fact that I'll get annoyed at this so unfortunately I'll return this and get my size medium just to try it out as well um, and see if I like the size mediums fit better so yeah unfortunately this top will be a return so here is the only home item that I got which is this beautiful mug I just wanted um, something a little bit rustic earthy and cute um, it is bigger than what I expected which is obviously fabulous I think I'm gonna order um a few more of it so we have a few for our guests as well i really like it it's so pretty and cute i cannot tell you guys how am i rushing on doing everything um so now i have like two reels that i need to record and there are like branded content that needs to go uh, for approval today so i'm gonna record those and then i'm gonna go to the mall because i have to go to the mall unfortunately i try to avoid it as much as i can but unfortunately i need to go to the mall um while i'm at the mall i'll just go to h&m and quickly do my return as well so we will have a little bit of an errand moment there as well and then um in the afternoon i'm gonna go to my cousin's house to help her with monta's birthday setup and all of that and as i mentioned at night i'm going out to dinner with that being said i'm going to love you and leave you i'm gonna link all of this product for you guys in the description box below i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button i'll see you guys in my next video bye